Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to what are we session 106. I just thought I'd just turn the camera on for a moment to see that uh, for you to see that I'm actually uh, a real person. So I'll leave it on a little while and we'll just see how we go. If I find it distracting, I'll turn it off. Now, one of the things that I get asked regularly is about my trading conditions and how I trade and my setup. I have six screens here. Uh, I have a custom made standing desk. So I'm now standing at my desk here and I've got a, uh, a spell I just want to show you this because you don't know what you don't know is I've got a special stool made up here that I sit or I use whoops nearly dropped it then <laughs> I use a draftsman's chair to sit down so that way I can get sort of sit right up nice and high at my desk and so I've got then that custom made little aluminium stool uh, for when I'm not um, standing I can then put my feet up the other thing that I do is I'm just redoing some of my charts and let me just turn this around a little it's hard for you to see there but this board behind me I normally have it down when I run my webinars but I just thought I'd put it up for today so I'll readjust that so the light is not shining in your eyes and what I like to do is just have my charts on there just some of my various uh, high probability setups along with my chart book that I'll review every day you see trading truly is a pattern solving exercise and so what I'll do is, is in a quiet market I'll just go through my charts uh, just sit back review my charts on the wall just to remind myself exactly what I'm looking for then of course I've got my trusty trading journal and so 200 and paid 240 page journal I've now got over 70 of these and so as I trade each day I then take notes uh, in my journal just the good the bad and the ugly or any ideas that I may have on top of that I have a little stand here a cork board where I've got um, uh, many of my trading rules and just other little abbreviations and, and little reminders and things that I need to be doing and so I just have it there and I just review uh, those as I'm trading now what I don't do is I don't watch TV don't have CNBC on or well, that can never be correct I think it stands for so I'm really really want to be focused when I am I want to get into if you like the trading zone uh, which is really important now of course some um, uh, in a moment I'll quickly talk about a membership but you get all of my charts and all of my setups which you can print out many of my members they go down and just um, get these printed out I've got a color laser printer here uh, but recently actually because of the quality <laughs> I've been going to uh, an instant uh, color print place around the corner but it's just great to review your charts on a on a daily basis because trading truly is a pattern solving exercise so let's get into this so I call this the $1,000 a day challenge now it's interesting I've been talking to my members about this that I've actually increased my target from $1,000 to $1,500 a day and I'll explain my methodology uh, in a moment we're going to look at the charts and look at uh, a trading session here I think look I can't remember it was 20 minutes of trading after commissions up 1500 plus but I'll show you that and we'll go to the charts but what I also want to explain to you is my trading philosophy I believe get in get out get paid but I've got a slide of that for you in a moment now if $1,000 a day is not enough for you just increase the amount of contracts if you do trade I trade five lots on the NQ uh, on the Russell or on the Dow I will trade up to 10 but typically eight lots and I just look at the amount of funds that I need to commit uh, for any one position now what I do cover in these sessions you can apply to Forex futures stocks it really doesn't matter I tend to really focus on the NQ sometimes CL I do love oil for Texas tea and uh, also recently very focused on the Russell and what I look for in a market as you will see I'm looking for the waves I want to surf those waves so let's um and actually this is in I just need to pull this down a little bit so I can actually <laughs> I can't um, 
uh, pull up let's let me try this sorry everyone I can't get the disclaimer here we go it was my disclaimer was hidden okay so we do know there's a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose I recommend you stay on the simulator until you're consistently profitable but once again as you're watching the recording you can read the disclaimer in full if you haven't already you can download my ebook the truth about day trading now in a moment also I will be referring to a spreadsheet which uh, you can also go click on the description link below and you can download uh, the, the spreadsheet I use along with a small uh, a short trading video where I'm teaching you how to actually use the spreadsheet correctly uh, don't forget also to please click on the subscribe button so you can be kept up to date with all of my videos even better still become a member I run both a, uh, a live coaching room two evenings a week 6 to 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Tuesday and Wednesday evening Eastern Standard Time and also I run a live trading room so I've got about a hundred traders in a live room uh, so for $197 you'll get you can get all of my indicators there's over 200 hours of online training it is extremely comprehensive uh, all of my indicators that I mention that all of my indicators are included on top of that you also get eight coaching sessions that is you can attend those 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. sessions uh, if, uh, you get eight of those one month of coaching all included in the 197 traders there's nothing else like it uh, I've been trading now for over 28 years uh, um, anyway look I won't go into it now this is not meant to be a sales pitch this is all about how I trade so I just want to mention why scalping works I consider myself a scalper I love to get in get out now we don't have to call tops and bottoms what I want to do is take a small piece uh, leave something on the table for the other guy now some people will say you don't want to follow the herd well I love following the herd I love when we've got momentum but I'll turn a sharp right before they all go over the cliff in other words there are certain times when we want to stop trading a trend so the concept is simple we find setups that are in harmony with the trend on higher time frames I'm looking at both an entry chart and an anchor chart so I have actually I have two anchor charts that I look at uh, I want to make sure that I'm trading in the direction of those higher time frames now the other thing too is um, I really believe in uh, POQ the power of quitting and that is once I hit my target if I hit it in 10 minutes fantastic if it takes me two hours okay I'll go two hours it's pretty rare but I want to get in get out get paid and finish now if you're a young gun I'm in my 60s I'm happy to finish early but you might want to continue all day uh, I also prefer to trade the after hours market what we call the Globex session now I'm actually recording this at 1258 a.m. Central Standard Time now the Globex session session actually opens at 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and it goes all the way through to the London session which is 2 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time and of course then New York really starts to fire up at about 8 7 30 8 a.m. it's really underway Central Standard Time so we've got that session before uh, New York and I love that session because it's so much slower and yet with the markets that we trade if you're trading 10 lots no problem look if you want to trade 100 contracts all right you really need to be in the New York session but if you want to trade uh, 10 lots or around 10 lots no problems at all trading during the Globex session now I want to go through and very quickly set some parameters on some goals and as the late Stephen Covey says begin with the end in mind where do you want to take your trading career because when the uh, uh, the why you want it is big enough you'll discover the how and I'm going to be showing you and of course many of you have seen many of my videos where I trade both with trend and counter trend but I will specifically point out the trend trades where I really recommend all new traders stay focused on trading with the trend so we want to set some goals now 
you know at times some traders will say I don't believe you should be doing that well you know what what are we here for I, you know I've got um, you know what I've got 16 grandchildren I've got seven children traders um, I've got I need money and I need to know that I've got goals in life and things I want to do and I want to you know we travel regularly and that sort of thing so having a target I think is motivating and I think all traders should have a target now I'm not talking about being unrealistic none of this nonsense of a thousand dollars a day per contract when you first start trading I teach traders start on a micro go to a larger account but we'll see that in a moment but you've got to have a goal otherwise you're like a ship without a rudder so let's just say here that say if you do have five to ten thousand dollars I would say if you're going to trade like what I'm about to show you here uh, you can start on the micro account which is the uh, micro in Q where you only need $400 let's use the markets money to build your wealth get rich slowly and I'm not talking about years here as you're about to see so if you start out with trading one micro contract where you only need $400 and you're going for $20 a day within 11 weeks you've actually got around $4,000 you can now roll over so in 12 weeks actually you've got 4,600 you can now roll over basically at the end of 11 weeks you're there you can now roll over and start trading the big contract now that's when you then because the micro is 10% of the value of a big contract you can now start trading the big contract 200 a day in a further 12 weeks on the basis you, that you net $200 a day per contract uh, you're earning your 10,000 a week and you've got an account size of just under 50,000 now I, I do have to say um, that my results may not be typical I've been trading for 28 years however what I've put together as you're about to see are rules based trades they're pattern based and we as humans are very very good at identifying patterns unfortunately you can't see it here these are all patterns that I'm looking for every single thing I'm looking for is a pattern and they're very easy do we have a retracement back to the EMA has the candle closed over a certain EMA what are my two core indicators telling me it's it's not rocket science okay but it is about it is about still getting some screen time now I do have to point this out where I've got here by the end of week uh, 12 you're trading 11 contracts you only start trading an additional contract every time you build your account by a further four thousand dollars you are using the markets money none of this risking five percent either the maximum we ever risk is two percent ever and as you build your account you drop that down to one and a half and down to one percent you have a lower return on equity but you stay in the business and it makes trading certainly a lot easier so maximum of 2% risk and you can see where you are now the bottom line is here traders we look at this 12 weeks our account size we roll over it's taken us 24 weeks for a potentially a life of financial freedom now I do want to say this on top of that 24 weeks you do have to allow six to eight weeks trading on the simulator you do not go live until you've at least mastered the setups and the thing is you start off with two or three of my setups all trend following and the, the couple that are that I teach you well actually I teach you over 15 setups but the main ones that I teach you are trend following and they're all related to each other so you learn one and you're learning the others at the same time now the question then is how do we actually achieve 200 net after commissions and after losses per day well here if we look at the six step scalps for an example I'll explain what the step is when we get to the chart in a moment okay you only need four of those a day after any losses after um, uh, yeah, after any losses you only need four of those okay that's all you need and we get those from what we call good trending 34 B's 55 89's and 200 bounces so here is the session 
that uh, I'm uh, basically going to give you a recap and we'll, we'll go before the charts and after the charts just so you can see what actually was happening before and what happened after so on this particular one after uh, commissions is up 1598 that was 12 minutes of trading now this is crazy trading it was actually look a little too fast even for me I'm a scalper but you know you, I'd like to be able to manage my trade uh, on the charts uh, so in this particular case I was using a fixed stop of 14 ticks a target of 20 um, uh, seven trades four wins two break evens and one loss now because it was that fast I was using a uh, market orders where normally I'll use a, uh, a limit order a stop limit order so over here I had uh, nice divergence here and I'll show you this actually on the chart and then I'll talk I'll just explain these here so let's look let's go to the charts uh, where we can actually see those setups now before we do this let me explain exactly what I'm looking for from the right hand side now here I'm using a Renko chart now you can use a tick chart you can use a range chart a time-based chart it really doesn't matter uh, I look I still use tick uh, and I use Renko but my main chart now is is Renko now with Renko's they smooth out price action and sometimes they hide a little too much information uh, and I miss out on some trades however um, uh, what I lose on the roundabout I pick up on the straight that is it just makes trading so much easier so just here as we're rallying up see this black line up here this is an EMA on a higher time frame I mentioned I like to use a uh, an anchor chart so with my anchor chart one and I've just got it displayed here just to give you an idea exactly what I'm looking at so if you look at right here can you see that there so this is my anchor chart one just here now this is a no-brainer trade and I actually call these a t12 and you'll find I'll, I throw lots of T's around it just simply means trade uh, the trade type so it's, it's a t12 very high probability so in taking that trade we're usually expecting price action to come down and bounce here now one thing we didn't pull up and have I even got it in that PowerPoint have I not got it there gee was normally no I haven't normally I bring it up but what I'm looking for and to um, be regularly reviewing my charts see that dot there that's uh, a pivot I'm looking for my pivots the open high low and close of the day uh, the Camarilla pivots as well and the swing highs and swing lows and the 89 and 200 EMAs and so I've got them all on a cheat sheet naturally so you're looking for these regularly why you bounce off these day in day out dozens of times a day so as we come back this by the way is a 200 EMA whenever you're retracing back to a 200 EMA always expect a bounce we don't always bounce like well here we've gone through it slightly uh, however regular as clockwork traders you will bounce off um, the 200 and so just there we actually this would actually be for members watching this would have been a 3b now one thing I want to point out here and I don't want this to go past 30 minutes whenever we take a trade we always say to ourselves do we have blue skies ahead meaning what's in front of our trade so we can see just up here we've got a pivot just like up here I've got a major EMA I know that these act as price magnets so there's a very good chance we're going to bounce off these levels so what that means is if I took this trade I would want to be at break even or taking profits at that level and here's a little reversal here straight away now one thing I failed to mention is it this rank these Renko candles uh, these are four tick Renko's which means from the load of the high uh, that's four ticks so each step as I call them is worth ten dollars now you can trade a four tick during the globex session 95% of the time 
but once we head into the London session we might jump up to a six tick as we go into the New York session we're usually going to be up to the 10 12 or the 16 tick I just don't like really um, uh, the really fast markets I call the New York open the killing field so you just want to be really cautious in crazy markets and also what it means is the higher the time frame that you're trading the um, the larger the stop loss that you need and that just reminds me one thing I meant to show you here was the effects of because you'll see in a moment um, uh, for once you um, uh, get your feet wet and you're into it $300 a day you got the potential there within eight within eight weeks of hitting your twelve thousand dollars a week and remember you're only trading an additional contract each time you get three thousand in your account and a two percent risk the reason I bring that up is that as you're about to see we get trade after trade now that one there now and, and um, that one there was a, a no-brainer now what I was about to say was I will usually go for a fixed target of seven steps going to break even that plus five okay so just here I would not have been in here to one uh, till up here one two three four five six seven so I would have got my seventy dollars per contract out of that trade now I come back down now I've got another trade for members watching you can see there we've got a t10 so we'll go long this is a danger zone at the moment though I will say this it is a uh, bit of a danger zone because uh, well, we've made a high low so no look we might be all right I just can't remember what happens we are probably another 10 15 minutes before I take my first trade so up we go uh, so that was um, um, by the way that was another it was a t10 and a 3b here this is a no-brainer why is this a no-brainer uh, one of my members uh, he calls this the three musketeers uh, it's not quite his pattern but it nearly is where you got three and these white paint bars this is called the super scalper by the way so if we were to take this trade see this up here that would be our target right so there we romp it in and we now get a bit of a bounce again okay uh, let's sit this one out as we come back I think we get a trade now this one here uh, this is a no-brainer right this is one of the 34 B's so we would take this I'd be after my seven steps thank you very much and once again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that's a one hundred and twenty dollar move why not go for 120 well I've got plenty of time the market by the way is moving fairly quickly on my dome my matrix it, it automatically sets my stop loss automatically has my break even automatically has my target so get in get out get paid now you may choose to trail if the market's slower but I much prefer just to have fixed targets unless I'm selling into an area of support or resistance if I know I've got a pivot ahead or below me um, it might be a standard pivot or a camarilla pivot if I know I've got a high of day or an open high low or close all of these plot automatically now on every platform you you can get these indicator they just all plot automatically but it just makes trading so much easier all right back to this here's trade one this was a reversal and this is what I call a 2d now was that the one by one tick no it's all right I well, maybe it was the next day because that there when I normally enter a trade um, I, I remember what I did <laughs> when I enter a trade uh, let me explain my stop loss so if I entered here I automatically have on my matrix on my dome a 14 tick stop loss now I like to have my stop one tick below the swing one tick above the swing one tick above one tick below except in a runaway market if the markets really pumping I'll just leave my stop for that relevant time frame uh, there so then um, that come back but I, I just remembered I was using a fixed 14 tick stop which put my stop up here it then turned into a little double top for members watching you can see the t10 just there and down we come 
thank you very much trade number one I then had a standard 3b this is one of these just a, a run-of-the-mill uh, trade entry yes there are rules to it but it's it's a pattern all of these are patterns that we're looking for so in here up we went now here if I if I remember correctly one two I wasn't quite out of that I think I was targeting the high of day here and I can't remember what I was doing I think I was going for the high of day so remember before I said I'd usually have a fixed target so what I'll do is usually I'll put in um, just increase my target from seven up to maybe ten steps and and actually that's what I did okay I'd forgotten that okay so that's why my target is way up there now I would have been out with seven steps just here and then if I was there was another re-entry just there okay so I had a re-entry just here which I wasn't in because I was still in that one so let me just explain increasing my target so if I've got a really strong magnet price magnet in front of me uh, a low of day high of day a major swing low major swing high uh, like a major swing high here I'll increase my target I'll still go to break even usually at the same time but I want to squeeze more out of it now I've got trade number three now I remember this uh, this was actually a, what I call a big picture double top now a big picture double top here traders is when you look at your anchor charts here and this is only looking at the anchor I call it the anchor chart one uh, and you can see there it's much more obvious that I've got a double top and thank you very much down we went ah now just here I got out at the 89 so I think we only picked up uh, five steps there what I call five steps we went to break even we then had another trade just a plain vanilla 2b here that was a break even so just there I had one two where is it if I got the front just trying to think I just can't remember what happens after this but anyway I had to, that was a that was a break even this is a break even and then I had a loss let me define break even for you break even is once I hit five steps one two three four five from where I enter that is automatically I go to break even plus three ticks so once I hit ten ticks net profit I go to break even plus three okay and what will then happen as happened here it bounced and happened here so I was stopped out at break even and at least it covers commissions and I pick up a tick or two now this is where I got stopped out I'm in an uptrend everything's looking great look at my uh, anchor chart uh, one everything's looking great in a nice uh, strong uptrend didn't have a lot of divergence at that time I jumped in and stopped immediately bang straight away stopped out but then I had if I remember correct was that a t10 on the anchor chart uh, I can't remember what the setup whoops sorry everyone let me just quickly adjust that back whoops I'm gonna pause this because I just jumped ahead too far just a sec so yes I jumped in here uh, being a t10 just here uh, bang straight down got my uh, oh that's right so I went for a slightly larger target down to the pivot now this is a really interesting trade here uh, we call this a t3 now here when you have a t3 we don't have to have it's a reversion to the mean setup it's where you've got like an elastic band being pulled back so right here uh, we've got a pivot bounce and a t3 so thank you very much straight after hit the full seven steps as well so when I've got a t3 a mean reversion trade uh, you get them all the time there are, there's a set rule to how we trade them and what you're looking for very it's once again it's just a simple pattern um, and very high probability but especially when you've got it as a pivot bounce now what happened then we then rallied up okay so up we go we then get a pullback let me give you a really and why we're here and I will finish up on this one 
because we're running out of time here but I just want to show you this just here this is what most traders will do so we had on the entry chart we rallied up and we then had that pullback had my super scalper there let's go long I want you to look over on your anchor chart one what are the candles showing you there what I've got right there traders are two red candles after I have a deep pullback what I look for on my anchor chart I look for the candle to close back in the direction of the overall trend what that does is gives, gives you a confirmation because on the lower time frame you get a little ripple oh let's jump in on this one this is looking great higher high new higher low and bang stopped out straight away okay so by doing that it keeps you out of so many um, uh, losing trades so I've got a bug attacking me here so just there that was also known as a 2b that's another 34b now the thing you've got to get used to also doing is here's what I just do I just very simply I'll scroll my charts down like this what's in front of me do I have blue skies ahead and I just remembered I just turned off the open high low and close um, for the current day in actual fact let's go and quickly look at where we are right now so we go and have a look at this right now so this is uh, once again and uh, this is 115 you, you get it like this all day all night for most of you in the US but here you've got um, here once again what can you see here traders well for a start t3 once again we won't go into that just a plain vanilla look what happens to price here it pulls back we're hitting the major EMAs down we come we pull back what's the probability we're hitting the major EMAs again thank you now we form a little we call that a bet the farm and down we go what's that there we got a 34 we get a pullback what's the direction of our EMAs we're in a downtrend away we go now you can look at this and say oh I'm cherry picking but traders this is live as I'm speaking this is just the run of the mill trading that we have now this is where then you have a danger zone let me just give you another little tip because you just had another t3 just here when you have and you can see just there I have two pivots right there I have a standard traditional central floor pivot and I've got an s1 from the Camarilla pivots be careful of whenever you're selling directly into a pivot why you bounce off them all the time now what if we were up here that's fine because we've got room down to the pivot let's get to break even if we punch through great if we don't we've locked um, uh, we're at break even we picked up a few ticks and we can live with that so be very very careful whenever you're around at the pivot now as we pull back what are we expecting up here at the 200 guess what that's called a 200 overshoot I look down here I've got a wee bit of divergence and now we've got complete divergence we've now got our short now with that also let's be pull up the anchor chart one let's have a look at that okay so see on your entry chart you had a wee bit of divergence there so see how you made a higher high just there you made a lower high divergence on your entry chart is the weakest form of divergence what you want to see is divergence on your anchor chart whenever you cross sorry I'm getting attacked by a bug here but whenever you cross uh, your 200 EMA that will quite often identify the start of a new trend so you've got to be very careful around the 200 so here we had what we call a T we I call it a T19 probably 80 percent 90 percent of T19s you bounce off for 34 EMA okay you'll rarely see me take a T19 but what I do want to take is a 2d look at my MACD dropping away like a rock there 
look over here at the MACD on my anchor chart can you see that there so what we've got here is double divergence and in fact I was just preparing some slides for coaching in the morning in the session well actually it's tomorrow morning my time but uh, uh, Tuesday night uh, Eastern Standard Time we're just running through uh, divergence trades as you can see Monday the 22nd of July just to run through classic divergence setups that we have so here note the angulation I've got here another one just pointing out now all of these indicators I have for every basically these are common indicators you can set up on any platform what I don't have for every platform is the MACD BB I've only got that for ninja trader 8 by the way but you don't need it because there are uh, there's a common everyday indicator on every other platform it will basically do exactly the same thing now what I'm looking for here I love double tops uh, and look at the timing there uh, 2222 so it's basically 8 p.m. in the evening is that 8 10 p.m. in the evening yeah 10 p.m. in the evening 1022 uh, and so you got these beautiful trends so you get home from work and you can trade but here just teaching members how to look for divergence trades now see these whys these are all yes trades in other words to take the trade after divergence so for a new member I'd be saying to you a new trader don't trade divergence initially all right divergence always looks great after the fact I trade it every day but I've been doing it a long time but these ones here there are three indicators that I'm looking at on a higher time frame that say take that trade take that one take that one take that one besides the divergence trades and by the way this one here um, this is a what I call a zero lag MACD but traders look I'm well and truly over what I wanted to uh, go through with you look trading truly isn't it truly isn't rocket science it's about taking the time to learn the patterns that's all it is and that's why I've got them normally up here or, or in the book um, and so it's just a matter of reviewing your patterns and understanding whenever you get a reversal coming back to your major EMA okay is my EMA trending what are we expecting a bounce then what are we then looking for a B C try just come and join me for $197 you can uh, join in eight two-hour coaching sessions it's a group private group coaching session the sessions are recorded by the way and you can watch them as many times as you like also includes um, this I think 36 powerpoints now there's literally seriously there's hundreds of handouts which I've done over the years I've been doing this for a long long time now uh, so um, but once again for if you're a brand new trader we get you going on just four specific things we look for okay just four specific trend following patterns traders hope to see you uh, in one of my classes otherwise I'll see you well hopefully you'll see me in my next video thanks traders